Hello, thank you for joining me. Today I've come to the National Trust property, Cliveden. I'm just standing by the main drive up to the house. Now my plan today is I'm just going to do a video in one set of gardens. There's so many different gardens here that what we'll do is another day I'll come back and I'll do another bit of the estate and another day I'll do another bit. We'll just keep doing it till I've done all of them but there's not, I'm not setting any time scale for this. I'm just going to do it as and when. So if you look up that way, that's the main house. So I thought we'd do that in a future video. I thought today we'll look at more the water at Clifton, the water gardens and this lovely fountain here, it's called the Fountain of Love, Italian style fountain, as you can see it's um, based around a huge stone shell. I always used to, used to come here a lot as a child and I used to be fascinated by the lady up there, how she's holding a jug with water coming out and how the jug never ever seemed to run out of water, I never used to quite be able to work that one out. So what we'll do, we'll walk around the fountain of love just so you can have a good look. So it really is kind of water coming off in all directions. If you come round here you can you see the better the jug I said about how the water just is always always coming out and I could never quite understand that as a child. And then there's the house up there. The house is actually now a hotel. Um, I've, I've been on the roof of it once, it's, um, you get an amazing view, whether we'll ever be able to make a video doing that, I don't know, but as I said, we'll, another day, at some point in the future, we'll do that end of the day, if you go that way, you've got the more Italianate gardens, so again, we'll do that in a future video. So we started with one topic on water, we're now going to go to the water gardens and see a lot more water and lakes. That building over there, that is the old um, head gardener's cottage. And these walls here, this is where the kitchen garden would have been once. It's actually now the estate's main car park. But what they've done, there's quite a few gardens inside. So it's all still quite pleasant. What we'll do, we'll follow where that Mercedes is driving. We'll walk a bit through the car park and through to the water gardens that way. So when you first arrive here by car, this is what you see. So as you can see, it's not particularly exciting as a car park, but there are some quite nice um, garden bits around here. There's a little information kiosk in the middle. I remember when they built that. It must have been in the mid nineties. I said I came here a lot as a child. There's some quite pleasant little gardens. There's the shop and the plant centre. When I came as a child, what's the shop now? That used to be the toilets. And the toilets were over there. And they swapped the shop and the toilets over. So just going through the garden centre, we are going to head for that door over there and go into the water garden. So there's a good selection of plants you can buy here. Some ice cream kiosk. So we're going to go through this door. Is also fairly modern. This never used to be here. You can see, like I said about the kitchen garden, see how they grew cherries all round the edge. You can just see the cherries. They're not quite right just yet. They've just gone through out of the former kitchen garden and we're now into the water gardens. Now, just behind us here. There's a maze. That was because, as I should have mentioned already, um, the estate is where the Astors lived. Of course, Lady Astor was the first female member of Parliament. Now, here the Astors had a maze, and it all kind of got overgrown. And in 2011, it was decided to restore the maze. I'm, I'm not going to go in it today because it'll be a bit of a. You'll literally just see hedges if I try and find the middle. But I will point out is if you look up over there, you can see behind the wall there's a what looks like a tree, it's actually a concrete tree made it disguising a chimney. So we'll now go down, go around the water gardens. We'll just go this way, because most people go that way, so I think we'll go this way, just a little bit different. So you've got lots of different plants in here, some more sort of exotic plants, and a lot of the plants were 
The idea was that they were plants that would flower during the spring, so that's why you've got like, cherry trees and various other plants. So we go down here, down this rocky plant. You may have seen, talking of gardens from other countries a while back, we went to Bidolf Grange where we saw some really exciting gardens from different places. There's a beech tree here, that's not particularly exotic, that's quite British actually. So go across here, this is what's always fascinating me. So you've got the lake with an island in the middle and you've got these stepping stones across to the island. So let's go across. As I always remember as a child, there was always some really big fish, big koi carps in here. Not quite as big as that wooden one over there, but still, you know, quite big. We go over here, that's the main bulk of the lake there and there. And we'll go, that pagoda is quite interesting, it actually came from Chateau de Bagatelle in Paris, and then it was bought here to Clifton by the Astors. So, it's got a lovely lake, we've got a bridge. We'll go to that bridge in a minute. What we'll do, we'll walk around there, come back across that bridge, and then we'll go over that way. <laughs> so this is the, if you look behind me, that's the um, pagoda I said about. So it's a Japanese-style pagoda that actually came from France. And we've got another fountain there. We're going to go back across that set of stepping stones and then we'll go around the estate that way so and then we'll go back come back onto the island so there's four ways onto the island we're going to do all four on and off the island with the course of this video it's always been one of my favorite views of any national trust property looking across the stepping stone to the pagoda so we're back where we were a moment ago, that's the main over there. So you've got some really, really lovely gardens, a lot of variety of plants. You've got a very attractive Indian bean tree, that tree in front of us, that's called an Indian bean tree. I don't know if it's the right time of year, but you do sometimes see the beans that grow on these trees. You can't actually see any, I'm not sure what time they come out, but this, yeah, here we are, look. That. It's dead now, but that, and the seeds have all come out. But that, it's come off now. That is the beans that grow on the Indian bean trees. We have a look over here. You get another nice view. They won't see the pagoda. Right there. A little stream starting just up here. This plant we've got here. This is called Butcher's Broom. It's if you see it in woodland, it's an indication that the woodland is an ancient woodland. But now that I've got over to that bridge. So I said there's a lot of cherry trees here, so they've kind of grown them in, you've got the ones over in the kitchen garden that were grown in a slightly ornamental way, but more to provide cherries, yet these have grown to be more ornamental. Get another one to you. Oh, that's nice. Get the pagoda and the fountain and everything. I'm just going to go around here. We're going to cross back onto that island. Well, not with the alleyway behind. Can you imagine? There's another fountain. And uh, keep getting different vistas across to the pagoda. Across this rock bridge, which takes us back onto the island. So, as a child, I used to love coming here, I used to particularly like that bit. Oh, I just feel the spray, it's quite refreshing. The wind just blew the water off the fountain towards me, it felt a bit like it was raining lightly. Now, we're going to make the final crossing, it's almost jumping, it's so small. Can you 
just throws loads of them. They smell nice too. We're gonna, I've got a duck right down under them. So there's the um, view of the lake. Now that, this is actually an overflow of this bridge. So the water would come off up here. I don't know if you can see it, there's a huge fish just there swimming through the... So they've got some very big koi carp coming through here, lots of bamboo. Now, my plan is, as I said, we're sort of, we can kind of, I'm going to come here as and when I can and each visit can be a sort of different theme. So this one we're looking at more of the water. But the River Thames does, is the border of the estate, we're not going to go down there today, it's a bit too far. We've got an oak tree there, another Indian bean tree. What I'm thinking we could do, so we finish on water. As I said, the water garden has like an overflow, so a stream runs off down there. If we go up to here, there's a gate out of the water gardens. The water gardens have a deer proof fence all the way round them. So if we go out of that deer proof fence, there's one more set of lakes that we can go and have a look at before we finish this video. So we get to here, we've got big deer proof anti deer gates. Through we go. Make sure that it's closed properly. That is known as um, the long walk. It's about a mile and a quarter. So if you follow it down there, you come down to the other end of the estate. We get down here, come to a, a part of the estate known as the Rushy Valley, which is that valley going off down there. The road you can see when you come by car, or when you come probably any by any form of transport, unless it's a helicopter, um, which some people do, some hotel guests do, you come up up this this road. So we're now kind of going down below the water gardens. The water gardens are up here. The overflow stream flows down here. There's not a lot of water in it. Um, and I suppose it eventually makes its way down the Rushy Valley. If you go down there, you'll eventually come to the Thames. So as I said, perhaps we'll, we'll visit the Thames part of the estate in a future video. So we're now crossing down into the Rushy Valley. As I said, it's a lovely, place I've always enjoyed coming here ever since I was a child. I've probably been here more than anywhere else. Probably here in Beckham Scott Model Village are the two places in my life I have been to the most. So um, I've just never actually made a video here because last time I came it was so busy I just thought no we'll, we'll, we'll leave it for another time. So we're now coming up to some lakes. Now it's interesting because these lakes, a bit like the maze, weren't here haven't always been here. I think they were once and they've been restored. So they're gradually bringing parts of the estate back that have been long lost for years. They've started to, so it's a bit, a bit bumpy, they reopen things, which is, I think is really nice. So here we are, this is the, the Rushy Valley Lakes. So as I said, we started with water and we're finished with lovely, calm, still water. So I hope you enjoyed this video from the National Trust place, the National Trust estate called Clifton. Thank you very much for watching. We're going to come back here. We'll do other videos in the future. So I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks very much for watching and goodbye.